Hello! Riverdale fans, welcome back to my Riverdale reviews. Yes, Riverdale was back, baby. I just loved it. And it came back sex, um, sexual than ever before. And love romance before as well. So yeah, this episode was amazing in its own way and fantastic. So I will get into the story. Then, then the characters, and then the writing of this episode. But, the synopsis, the synopsis. In this episode, chapter 27, The Hills Have Eyes. David M. Um, Kreisberg, directed by David, sorry guys. Sorry guys. Um, directed by David Katzberg, and written by Ross Maxwell. And uh, yeah, here's the synopsis, and then I'm going to tell you my thoughts about the story and then the characters. So yeah, Hyman suggests his Archie for an uncle Betty and Jughead go to the lo Lodge's lake house for a romantic, romantic getaway. Cheryl, Cheryl upset over not being invited calls Jughead and falls him, falls him of Betty's kiss with Archie which causes attention with the group. Veronica and Jughead kiss to level the playing field. Later the girls go into the town while the guys have discussion over the close Mortal bonds between the four. Back in Riverdale, Josie informs Kevin of their parents' affair. Cheryl reveals to Tony that she had a friendship turned lesbian relationship broke up by Penelope at the lake house. Tensions arise again when Jughead and Bay learn that Hyman bought the trailer park and the Riverdale Registrar and a group of men that Franca interacted with the town break into the house. But Veronica activates the silent alarm. One of Hyman's men arrive and kills one of the interns, and the four return to Riverdale. <sighs> so, the story of the episode. I thought this story was amazing and fantastic. I loved how I loved there was love. I loved how there was more Cheryl in this episode, and I loved. They had um, Tony and show I had the bond um, in this in this story of the episode, and yeah, yes, dude. In this, <laughs> God's sake, chick was key um, bother me with like keep stop looking at your sister, man. Stop it, you creep him out. And the other WTF creep out and um, said, oh, to jugheads. Saying, oh, if um, you tell anyone, there will be worse than uh, there will be something. What um, something is going to happen to um, Betty and and Alice, Mum? I was like, what? What is wrong with you, dudes? Lucy, with that creepy face, he's getting like, bah, mm. ah, ah, chick, chick is still on the radar of me. Poor, pure evil of Satan. <laughs> Satan. Uh, but yeah. Anyway, but back to the story. My thoughts of the story was fantastic and brilliant. Um, with sexual tension between um, Veronica and Archie. And then just Jughead's commenting when... Is it... What's that noise? Yeah, it's it, um, commenting about them having um, sexual contact. Uh, with each other and say, why are they, uh, why, they should, why is it always involving that? Why should, they should, like, talk? Um, and, uh, and then, Doc Bay comes back and they, them two have a sexual attention and of course, Veronica and Oshie hears it. So yeah, same, what? What my thoughts about the kiss? About the kiss between uh, um, drug heads and Veronica. Nah! Nah! That! No! Ba! Do! Ba! No! <laughs> That's the first thing I've done that. That's the first thing I've done it. No! Ba! No! Nah! Nah! Bo! Nah! Nah! I didn't like it. At all. So, but the other thing of the story was about Cheryl. Which I really, really enjoyed, and I'm glad um, she told Tori, um, Tori her bad experience, well, worst experience, 
of um, that she um, she came out about her sexuality. She's bi, and yeah, and good for you, Cheryl, to um, and about Pien Penelope um, courting her best friend and her in the same bed together, and that Penelope. Continue with your freaking um, ass um, men stuff you're doing. Not with how, but other men. Come on, Penelope. Continue with that. Continue with your old business and let Cheryl do her business. So, I'm clear with that. But yeah, the whole story was fantastic and brilliant um, in this episode. My thoughts about of one of Hiram's men killing a teenager, nicking Franco's money. I'm fine with that. It's like, well, nah, I'm not. I'm not. I was kind of shocked. I was that in shock. A short teenager. I'm out. It's but but yeah, I actually was shocked as well. And of course, Hiram um, talk, uh, talked about um, Archie about what happens and yeah which was good so the characters the characters my favorites um my favorite character in the episode was show show in this episode show in this episode was amazing um, Madeline Pets was amazing, amazing in the episode. I'm glad they had there was more scenes of her this se in this episode. I'm glad she came back in a fasting mood because she was moaning, but she's she was upset um, because and that because she hasn't got any l love together. Fingers crossed, Tony and Cheryl relationship, please. I want that to happen. But yeah, the other bit of what I enjoyed about the story was. Um, was Kevin were was Josie telling about Kevin about their mom, her mom and her dad and his dad. It was like, yeah, it was coming out sooner or later. And of course, the awkwardness between Moose and Kevin. Enjoyed that bit as well. But yeah, I loved. Yeah, the characters. Show was great. Archie, Veronica. Jughead's scenes and Betty scenes were good, great tension together, but yeah, it was like feisty in every corner. So yeah, what do you think about the writing? The writing was perfect in this episode. I really enjoyed the writing in this episode. It was very good love, um, ups and downs in this episode. Uh, yeah, love, um, ups and downs in, in this episode as well. But it was good. So, yeah, I would not have checked for a brother. Literally, his face creeps me out. He's like Hart Denton is doing a good job for doing the most creepiest face in TV history. In TV history, it's so creepy, and is the most dark character I've ever seen in Riverdale. Heart dating, keep it up. Heart dating, keep it up, please. Please. You're the most darkest. You, you. Yeah, you. It's, yeah. Check Cooper all the way. No, not all the way. Creepy. Creepy all the way. That, that. Let's you have the award of, of T, for TV awards. That, the most creepiest. Um, face in teen drama TV show. Cheek Cooper, Hot Denton. Yeah, he, he does creep me out. Hot Denton is a brilliant actor in the show. He does creep me out. And Chick, stop staring at your sister when, when, when you're drinking, when you're eating your breakfast, and like creepy, like creepy in background, like waving them. Um, Raven Bay wet um goodbye is that God. But overall of this episode was fantastic Dozy of a fantastic episode and brilliant. I'll comment for next week's one. 
God, I'll be getting so pissed off with with um, Penelope, Corey, Tony, and Cheryl together. It's like, what is going on? Penelope, out, go. I want a word with you. Yeah, that was me. But, yeah, I'm sorry. I was. I'm sorry. But yeah, overall, it was, a, it was a fantastic episode. Brilliant, amazing, great writing, great characters. Deliverment as well. So I'm going to give this episode... This episode... A 9.4 out of 10 because it was fantastic and amazing. So, Riverdale continues next Wednesday at 8 7 Central on the CW. Keep on subscribing to my channel. Yeah, keep on subscribing to my channel for all things sketches, Riverdale... Stuff, the Kieran show, and more. Click the bell button if you get a notification when I upload. Cl yeah, click the subscribe button if you new round here. If you want to subscribe to me with all new content like this. I'm joking. <laughs> and yeah, hope you enjoyed this review, guys. Give this a big thumbs up. Comment down below what you thought of um, this week's video. And that. Uh, so, yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. So, <laughs> So, yeah. Hope you enjoyed this review. I'm going to reach 2K subs by the end of this month. And 1.4K 1, 1 subs by the end of this week or next week. Or whatever. So, yeah. Comment up next is 9. Mine 1. Coming up next. So, I hope you enjoyed this review. Keep on subscribing. Bye. Bye. Peace.